There are a few parts of our everyday lives that haven't been impacted or changed by COVID-19 this year, but healthcare workers worldwide have been on the front lines of this pandemic. We sat down with health officials and doctors from Unity Point Health St. Luke's and Mercy One Siouxland Medical Center for exclusive and extensive interviews about the virus here in Siouxland. From the local surge in positive cases in the spring to staff and patient care, the community's part in the hospitals and the future of healthcare post-pandemic. All this week, we're bringing you a closer look. Now in part one of our six part series this week, we begin with the virus that started it all. Some people are still thinking that this is a hoax. Please don't underestimate this virus as it has caused a lot of damage. Doctors in Sioux City started preparing for COVID-19 before the virus reached the area. You could just see it moving across Interstate 80 and knew that it was happening. And the weekend that it happened when I came in on that Saturday morning, um, it, was, it was just that moment of anxiety where it was here. Our numbers just shot up. We knew it was time. Um, and then everybody just kind of hunkered down. The first positive case was confirmed in early March. Unity Point Health St. Luke's and Mercy One Siouxland Medical Center saw their first inpatient cases shortly after. Most of the COVID patients that get admitted to the COVID units have a lot of injury to the lungs. COVID-19 is a respiratory virus. Most infections are considered mild, but others are much worse. They get a lot of inflammation and lung damage, so they require oxygen. So that, that's the most common uh, you know, finding we are seeing in the COVID unit is patients requiring a lot of oxygen. Some just get away with using just nasal oxygen. Some of them require the use of invasive mechanical ventilator, which is a breathing machine that helps breathe for them. Local doctors say they've seen patients with COVID-19 put off their care, trying to ride it out at home. We have people who are contracting the virus, they're getting sick at home, and they are staying home. So. One of the things we are requesting people is if they get sick, they get short of breath and they have really trouble breathing, they should come to the hospital sooner rather than later because the people whom we are seeing now who are not able to make it are the people who are staying longer at home and trying to fight it by themselves. With a new virus like COVID-19, treatments are always changing. We have definitely evolved a lot over the last six months. And initially, we were trying out whatever was out there. We got information from China. We got information from what they were doing in New York and other places of our country. Um, and as things evolved, as we found that certain therapies were more effective, we have changed our protocol accordingly. It affected hospitals too, adding barriers between healthcare workers and their patients that weren't there before. So in the hospital, um, the life has been a little bit different. So all the protective measures, you know, all the barriers are there so that we keep everybody safe. The treatments have remained the same. Treating those hit hardest by the virus has also taken a toll on the frontline workers. But with COVID-19, our whole perception was ruffled to the point where we saw so many people not make it through it that we were disappointed, we were frustrated, depressed. And um, that has been definitely a very uh, mental strain, strain for all of us too. Doctors here say there are a few simple things we can all do to help combat this virus. I would tell everyone to just be very careful. Let's not take this as, a, um, as an easy virus. Um, it can be a passing infection in many, but it can be fatal in many, and it's very hard to predict who's going to get what. So it's better to just be careful, wear face masks when you can, uh, you know, when you're in public, maintain safe distance, social distancing, and hand wash, hand wash, hand wash. This was just part one of a six-part week-long series, digging deeper into patient care, the medical staff on the front lines of COVID-19, and the future of health care. Tune in tomorrow for part two, where doctors look back at the local COVID-19 surge and how it impacted medical care and hospital staffing.